Welcome guys into this new video of the Tech Press. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick connection between the MetaMask and of course the Solana network. So Solana is a high power formed blockchain supporting fast transactions and low fees. So MetaMask firmly as an Ethereum wallet can be configured to interact with various networks. So today we're going to be going through, through how we can actually do this process uh, totally for free. The very first thing you want to do, of course, is to sign into your MetaMask account. If you don't have one, you can always go directly into MetaMask.io so you can start downloading the application. In my case, it seems I'm using a computer, I might be having access to with the extension of the MetaMask. Now, into my upper side, you can see that I have this account that runs with Ethereum. So, if I wanted to enable the actual Solana, I needed, to, of course, to make sure that we have, to, by default, uh, changing the section of the MetaMask. So by default, MetaMask does not support Solana. So we needed a third party service called Solid.io to bridge the gap. So if I go directly into Solana, you can click into the network dropdown. So open the tab and here into the upper side, as you can see here it is, right? So to open and access to the Solid to MetaMask, I'm gonna open a new tab. I'm gonna leave this as it is, open a new tab. And here, let's go for Solid. Dot io. You can use select, you can use bridging, or you can use old bridge.io. Make sure that we can transfer stable coins between the Ethereum and non-stable chains. So I'm gonna go here into continuum. Let's try it out with the core.alibridge.io. Uh, so I have a bridge connection between my wallet and another wallet. So to get started with the old bridge, let's start with Solana. Inside Solana, what I'm going to be doing here is to sign into my Solana account in order to get started here. If you don't have a Solana account, you have the link down below in the description, guys, so you can all get started totally for free with Solana. I'm going to sign with my email. Now, I do have access to this wallet. This wallet is from Phantom Wallet. Phantom Wallet runs with Solana Network. So I wanted to make the connection between both of them, right? So if to get started there, let's assume for example that I have a few tokens from MetaMask from Ethereum and I wanted to send this away directly into my Solana network. So I'm gonna focus once again into the old bridge section. Let's go back into old bridge and here we're gonna go for connect wallet. Now it's gonna be really important to choose a wallet that we have to our Ethereum element. So which extension do you want to connect with? Let's go use MetaMask and it's going to be sending us here into MetaMask. So it's going to be really important to sign this connection, see the address, transaction and go for connect. Well, we have successfully done, right? Now here, I wanted to send from USD, let's see, for example, to go for Ethereum. This is the actual network we're going to be choosing today. So for the Ethereum tokens, we have Theta USD or USD coins. So you can choose USDT. And here from Ethereum, we're going to change this for Ethereum directly here into Solana. So I can change from USD coin into Solana, this exact amount. Now, where it says connect wallet, I choose connect wallet. And here I wanted to choose a wallet that is, uh, let's say, availability with the Phantom, or in this case, Solana. So in my case, I'm going to be using Phantom wallet. The same process here. So I'm going to choose my account, I go for connect, and I have now both my MetaMask from Ethereum and my Phantom Wallet from Solana. So if you want to add a message from the wormhole, you can do it. So in my case, I'm not going to do this. The extra gas can be helping you to receive a wallet and do this process much more faster and of course, much more easier. Now we have an actual relayer fee. You can of course pay with Ethereum or USDC. Once you've made this process, let's say for example, that I wanted to send um, 21 USDC. And at the end of the transaction, I'm going to be receiving 18 because of the actual fees. So you can see here, they have the really layer fee, the Ethereum liquid fee, the Ethereum swap, Solana liquid fee, Solana swap, and the average transfer time, which is 19 uh, minutes. So once you've done this process, let's go here into approved so you can do this process directly here into MetaMask. Now at the moment, I do not have USDT directly from my MetaMask account, but you can just go and make sure that you have enough money for make this actual uh, second here. So let's go here into next, make sure that you have enough funds for the gas and go for continue. This might be of course a fee of two, three dollars of Ethereum, so make sure that you have that element there. 
once you make that transaction, you can go back directly here into Phantom and look out for the token you have just received. In this case, go for manage the token list and you can go for your SDC. If you don't have this, what you can do is just to add the token directly uh, here into settings and add your own token directly into the Azure's booked. So guys, that is how we can actually make the connection between the actual, let's say, um, in this case, a wallet of Ethereum and send it directly here into Solana, in this case, uh, Phantom Wallet. So if you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Make sure that you're using a really great bridge. Uh, the outbridge.io is actually really great. I have a lot of more suggestions, but so far this actually works it really well. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Hopefully we can all see you next time.